Good morning, YouTube. So it's not a car mod video for you today, but I've got a tattoo appointment to finish one of my sleeves. So I figured I want to bring you guys along for the ride. Uh, so a little bit of a backstory. I started this neo-traditional tattoo sleeve on my right arm about, about two years ago, two and a half years ago now with an artist based out of Toronto, Ontario. Uh, his name is Mark Prada and he works out of Toronto, Inc. I'm very pleased with the results so far. Unfortunately, COVID put a bit of a kink in things and we couldn't get an appointment scheduled for a long time. <laughs> so now that uh, COVID is dying down and things are, are reopened now, he was finally able to get me booked in to finish uh, the arm. We've only got one spot left to go, so I'm very excited. Just to give you guys a bit of a, a look, I know this is kind of a weird way to do it, but so this is the arm we're working on here, the right the right arm and you'll see on the inside there it's just not finished everywhere else on the arms all finished up that's the last spot that we're doing today so just about to go jump in the car and uh, and head over to the shop it's a bit of a drive but uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we get there or maybe sooner still got 45 minutes or so of a drive up I did just stop for gas. Thirsty, thirsty bitch. Gas right now in Canada for 93 premium is 169.9. Fucking ridiculous. I'm gonna get myself an energy drink and get back on the road, but first, choo choo. Oh yeah, anyways, catch you later. So I finally made it to Danforth uh, Avenue in Toronto. This is where Toronto Inc. is located, where I have my appointment booked. I'm a little behind schedule, but uh, usually the artist Mark doesn't mind. <laughs> Anyways, this is a look at the at the storefront here. This is Toronto Inc. They've got a lot of great artists. Check out their website and their Instagram to get a look at uh, which artists do uh, do work here. I know they have a open seat right now, so if you're an artist looking for a place to uh, tattoo, look up Toronto Inc. Anyways, I'm gonna head inside, so I'll catch you later. <laughs> That's Mark. <laughs> Ooh, spicy. Cast food. Oh, and the owner wouldn't really take care of it that much. So this cat is like a 40 pound cat. I saw it this morning. I shit you not, this cat has got to be like this big. About this long, about this this long, it's gotta be about this wide. What the fuck? Oh my god! Like so I just finished my appointment uh, with Mark for the uh, inside of my right arm. We didn't get the entire tattoo done today, uh, unfortunately, because I tapped out like a bit of a bitch. Uh, the inner arm is definitely one of the more painful spots of anywhere that I've had tattooed. So, you know, after two and a half hours or so of the needle, you, you get a little sick of it. So we'll finish it up next time. Anyways, uh, just gonna jump in the car and head to Champion Motorsports to have them install the rock cards that came in for me. Uh, they weren't available uh, last time, but they came in in the last 
few days so I figure I'm out in the area might as well pop in and get them done now anyways that's one last look at the shop here this is Toronto Inc they're at uh, 580 Danforth in Scarborough Ontario and if you do go in I'd highly recommend getting an appointment with uh, with the shop owner Mark Prada uh, all the other artists who work here are absolutely fantastic as well so any of them would be a winning choice but uh, I've had all my work uh, on my right arm done by Mark and he just does a stellar job anyways I'm going to go jump in the car and uh, head to the shop so I'll check in with you guys when I get there until then you know never get tired of looking at this thing I hate parking on the street but at least nobody fucked the car up while I was getting my appointment It was only a 10 minute drive from the tattoo artist to Champion Motors. So, pretty nice to get both of these done in the same day without having to drive out to this Scarborough area at a later date just to get the rock cards put on. Should be pulling up in any minute. We're on Crockford right now. They're at 117 Crockford Boulevard, so. So they just got the rock guards installed on the C7 at uh, Champion Motors here. Um, so let me show you what they look like. These are the ACS composite extra large rock guards. You'll see there's one on the rear here, just kind of clips in. And then there's one on the front here. And they're on both sides, obviously. Now the great thing about these is, since I've only PPF'd the front bumper, uh, these rock guards will help protect the side, the doors and the fenders and etc. from uh, from rock chips and stuff when you're driving on the highway and, and otherwise, uh, just on shitty roads and whatnot. Um, the nice thing about these two, in addition to protecting you from rocks, is that they give the car like a little bit more of a a wide kind of look, you know, not much or whatever, but it's just an extra little extra little bit that it looks pretty slick i think anyways i'm gonna hit the road and head to samsung to get my phone repaired uh not sure what's after that but i'll check up with you guys later until then now my second visit to samsung i came here earlier in the week and i had an appointment booked to have my phone fixed and prior to booking said appointment i called them and asked them do you guys have all the parts necessary to repair the phone if I come in today? And they said yes. So I came in. They had a look at the phone. They diagnosed what the issue was. And then they came and told me that they don't have the parts to fix it. After I had just called and asked and made sure they did. Anyways, they had to order the part, which was the camera. And it came in yesterday. So they told me to come by today and get it fixed. So I'm at Heartland Town Center Samsung. And I'm going to go drop my phone off and get the cameras fixed. And then after that, uh, I'm not sure what's next, but uh, I'll check with you guys later. Okay, so to add to the Samsung repair story, I just strolled in there now. It's 3.30. And uh, apparently they can't repair my phone today because they don't have enough time. So this is now twice I've come to this location and they just give me some bullshit reason either they don't have parts or this or that so 
So I'm going to try one more time on Thursday this week. And if they don't repair my phone, uh, I'm just going to have to deal with corporate directly or something. Because I can't get over the fact that I called and specifically made sure they had the parts. And then I show up and they don't have them. Like, ridiculous. Anyways, time to hit the road, I guess. So I decided to head home after the Samsung fail. I got nothing else planned and my arm's kind of bugging me a bit and the, the bandage was kind of falling off in the car. So I figured I'd come home, clean it all up, take a Tylenol, smoke a bowl, and kind of just kick it for the evening. Um, anyway, since the bandage fell off, I can give you guys another look at the tattoo. As you can see, it is a moose, <laughs> or hopefully you can tell that. And uh, it's got some cool background elements, like some maple leaves and some other stuff. Uh, we didn't finish the shading today and we didn't uh, finish the arm in general because I'm a bit of a bitch and I kind of tapped out after a couple hours. However, we've got plans to finish it up next time. And uh, once we finish this particular tattoo up and some, some filler elements, the arm is complete. So I'm excited. Uh, it's been a long time coming, unfortunately, since COVID kind of put a kink in things. We started back two years ago before the pandemic and all this COVID stuff happened. And obviously with not being able to book appointments, couldn't get in to finish it. So I'm absolutely thrilled that we're about to finish up and can't wait to see uh, what Mark comes up with for the next tattoos that I get. I'm thinking we're gonna start on legs next, either legs or, uh, or maybe back. You know, maybe nice one big piece on the back would be pretty sweet. So leave a comment below uh, what you think of the tattoo. Um, and thanks for tuning in guys. And until next time, uh, peace out.